the hollow in my chest. I'm always on edge for fear of falling into it. You tell me I just need to relax. So I sign up for yoga and mindfulness. There, I shuffle my feet, make fists with my toes, choke on my own breath, trying to catch up to the rest. Then, I'm instructed to breathe, breathe. and breathe around myself. Around myself. And just stop bumping about on the ceiling like I must have been doing because I'd forgotten to exhale, I guess. With no light roping off the event horizon at night, the hollow spills out, making a void out of our entire bedroom. You tell me to just get some sleep, so I squeeze my eyes shut and breathe and ground myself deep into my pillow. Choke with a silence so loud like this, I keep falling in. I'm pulled in every direction at once, pushed into the corners of myself. You snuffle in your sleep, feel around for me, wake up enough to throw bleary eyes around the room until you find me on the ceiling, less of an excited moth, more of a beached night whale, and croak at me to come so back, back to bed. To come back to I bed. would, but I'm paralyzed in place. Night air has spilled into the center of me, filled it up, and now there's nothing else in there but that. I can't. Tastes like salt, but less I choke. Of course you can. Of I squeeze my eyes, my ribs, myself, shut. Oh, okay. Just try, just try, and sleep, and sleep. sleep.